Hello friends, uh, this is a reasoning question. Let's see the question and let's understand the concept behind it. Uh, action potential amplitude can change despite obeying the all or none law. Explain why, explain how. Let's understand. Uh, well, uh, first, please understand the question itself. On one hand, we say action potential obeys all or none law. That means if threshold is reached, then it will generate, action potential will generate with full response, 100% response or if threshold was not reached, then none, zero, it will not develop at all. So that means whenever it develops, it develops completely, 100% or 0%, I mean zero means no response. If that is the case, then how can we say that action potential amplitude can change, it can increase or decrease. When already, when it develops, it is 100% development, then how can it increase and become more than 100%? How is that possible? Yes, it is possible. There is no contradiction in this. Let's understand. Uh, if you want to write this answer in the exam, you may start by saying that action potential conforms to all or none law for a given set of conditions, that's the important part of it, given set of conditions. If the conditions change, then the contours of all or none law, contours of all or none will change and it will still be all or none. Uh, this is just for the answer. Now, let's see the explanation. I always like to give the example of a firecracker when, when I describe the action potential. Imagine a firecracker and uh, there is a bati to the firecracker. So, initially the bati burns, 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 burns and when it reaches threshold with one single burst, the cracker makes the loud noise. It bursts. A uh, somewhat similar thing happens in the case of action potential. That uh, it reaches threshold and once it reaches threshold with one single burst there is a completion of depolarization depolarization is completed so uh, here is a point of the nerve one point stimulated and sodium channels open sodium influx happens initially uh, channel by channel and then when threshold is reached Suddenly, there is a massive surge in the sodium influx like that burst of the firecracker and uh, it takes the membrane potential to plus 35 millivolts. So, if the threshold was not reached, like in the case of firecracker, if the bati does not burn completely, then zero response, no sound. But if the ba bati has burnt completely and has it has reached that threshold, then the firecracker will burst with its full sound. So, zero sound or full sound, nothing in between. Then where is the question of increase in the sound, increase in that amplitude of all? Let's understand this. Normally, uh, the sodium concentrations are 141 on the outside and 14 on the inside. In the case of a nerve, this is just a diagrammatic representation and sodium is coming in and causing depolarization and it's coming in because of the concentration gradient 141 is to 14 this gradient is causing the sodium to come in and even at threshold a certain concentration gradient this is a starting point but there is a certain concentration gradient which causes a massive entry of sodium and a spike is generated but this is one set of conditions in the case of firecracker, let's take the example. There are different types of firecrackers. There's a red firecracker, there is a sutali bomb, there is another firecracker. Each cracker is bursting with its own full sound or no sound. If the cracker is changed, the sound intensity is changing. Although it's come for that cracker, it's all that sound is complete sound for that particular cracker. So, uh, just different crackers have different sounds. That's how uh, you can correlate here. Just this was just an example. 
Now consider another set of conditions. Now conditions have changed. Let's say there is a condition called as hypernatremia, increased serum sodium. 151 on the outside instead of 141. So it has increased now and 14 on the inside. It means at threshold, there is a wider concentration gradient for sodium. So when the threshold is reached, there will be a massive influx of sodium. But this time, because of a wider concentration gradient, more sodium surge will happen or more sodium will come in. More positive charges will come in at threshold. That means this time, uh, the amplitude will increase. Membrane will go to plus 45 millivolts. So that means amplitude of action potential has increased. Well, this was full response for this particular condition. And when the condition changed, again, this is a full response for this particular condition. So all or none law is still obeyed, but that all is different for different sets of conditions. This is 100% for this uh, hypernatremia, whereas this is 100% for this particular condition, normal condition. So that is how action potential obeys all or none law, factually correct, correct statement, but its amplitude can change and it is still all or none for that particular changed condition. So that is what the explanation for uh, this particular reasoning question.